I always felt like it was one big adventure for us. All of the different places that we have been able to work just after we got married, we were able to spend six weeks of a honeymoon. How many people get to spend that to travel from our seasonal job at Yellowstone all the way down to our seasonal job at Death Valley National Monument? We got to travel through other national park areas. We camped out. We stayed with friends. One of the most interesting, exciting times was during the 1988 fires in Yellowstone. That was an absolutely incredible experience. We often didn't see each other for days because I would be out in the field in New York at Mammoth headquarters. And there were days when, you know, I couldn't see across the parking lot, and that's what we were breathing. But the good part of being a dual career couple was that we had the network through all the people that we knew to know how the other one was doing all the time. Do you remember what your favorite project was? Oh, yeah. I felt extremely fortunate. I was selected with three other people, basically, that did the Route 66 study for Congress to present them with alternatives on how to commemorate and preserve at least little portions of Route 66 and what to do with it. I've often referred to that as the pinnacle of my career because it was fun and We were able to travel the entire Route 66 from Grants Park in Chicago to Santa Monica, California, twice. I also remember that you tried to see if you could rent a Corvette. I thought it would be extremely appropriate with the four of us to rent two older Corvettes, and I was able to find two to be able to rent. So I presented a paperwork to my first supervisor and he signed it without looking at it and I went to the next one and and they signed it off so I finally got to the branch chief Joel Kuzman I watched him sign his first name Joel and I watched him sign the first three letters of his last name and I was thinking we're going to have two Corvettes and he stopped at the third letter and looked at me and said Bill, what are you trying to pull off here? <laughs> so that KO'd it right at the, at the last minute, and he was the last signature I needed. Otherwise, we'd have been doing Route 66 the appropriate way. I thought. <laughs> so what do you think your pinnacle of your career is or going to be? I think being right where I'm at right now as a superintendent of Mount Rushmore having a team of employees that are so incredible. I wake up every morning and it's really easy for me to come to work. And knowing that at the end of the day, I have made a difference in helping to preserve this incredible site and to carry on for those future generations. Mount Rushmore was also the first place that you kissed me on our very first date together way back when in 1980. So that we really have come around to a, a full circle. And I do think that we are one of the luckiest couples in the National Park Service. 